What's good? What's good? It's the one and the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one. So this time today we have Conor McGregor and Canelo Alvarez in the news. Well, this was actually about a week ago when this happened. Um, maybe even longer than that, but I'm just now getting to it, man. Been uh, been kind of busy or whatnot. But anyways, man, Conor McGregor has called out Canelo, stated that he would beat Canelo in a boxing match, and he feels like he would do it easily, all right? He sat there and, um, actually, you know what? Before I even get into it, how about you listen to what Conor McGregor had to say, and then we'll talk about it. I don't, I, I, I'm a southpaw, right? I was a southpaw. Billy Joe was a southpaw. Yeah. I've seen methods, I've seen things I do, and I know he's weighing, and I fight Canelo, no fucking problem, yeah? No straight, no... Now, if y'all that don't know, Conor McGregor was basically saying, you know, uh, Conor McGregor is a southpaw. He said John Ryder was a southpaw. Billy Joe Saunders was a southpaw. Um, you know, and he feels like Canelo basically has issues with southpaws and all this type of stuff, man. Now, for one, what I will say, I mean, obviously, um, we seen Canelo in there with, 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 you know, the the Laras. Uh, we seen him in there with uh, Billy Joe Saunders. We seen, I don't, man, a lot of people feel like Billy Joe Saunders really did, but I don't think Billy Joe Saunders really just, I mean, he, he did give Canelo some, somewhat, some, you know, minor issues, but I don't think Billy Joe Saunders gave Canelo, like, the issues that, like, Laura gave Canelo or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and definitely not John. John Ryder was a tough guy, but I don't, th I, didn't, I don't think he just gave Canelo issues. I just think pe people, Canelo... People were expecting more from Canelo, but it's not like John Ryder really did anything that just made us feel like, oh, John Ryder is, you know, giving Canelo really a lot of issues. I, I don't think so, at least. Maybe you guys do. But anyways, so here, here's my thing. First and foremost, like I've, I've stated this before about Canelo. The thing about Canelo is, well, though he, he, he might be right, maybe some type of southpaws would give Canelo issues. I mean, southpaw... He kind of makes it awkward for a lot of, you know, orthodox fighters. But the thing is that Conor doesn't realize is that Conor doesn't have, first and foremost, does not have, I don't think, the style or um, or the IQ to give Canelo enough issues. I'm just going to be honest. First, let's let's not forget people. We can talk, we can criticize Canelo all day, but, let's, but Canelo is not a dumb fighter. Canelo is smart as hell, all right? For one, I've always stated... All right, in order to be Canelo, yes, you have to be sleek. You have to be good with your legs, like Austin Trout. You know, Austin Trout, another southpaw. You know, um, you got to be good with your legs, but you got to, you have to master the art of landing the one-two. Straight punches give Canelo issues, all right? And that's whether you're a southpaw or, southpaw or an orthodox fighter. Straight punches give Canelo issues, all right? What punches do uh, does Austin Trout throw a lot? The one, two. What punches does Ares Nandi Lara throw a lot? The one, two. What punches did Floyd tag, uh, tag um, Canelo with a lot? The one, two. What punches did uh, Dimitri Bivol uh, continue, continuously uh, catch Canelo with the one two like bro straight punches give Canelo pro if you if you're good with your legs if you're good with if you're if you if you're slick and you and you master your one two that's gonna give Canelo issues all day all right we have we have only seen Conor McGregor in one boxing match and again when people like to say well Conor McGregor he went 10 rounds with Floyd Mayweather Floyd Mayweather is the best boxer I continue to tell people bro when Conor McGregor when, when he fought Floyd Mayweather bro Floyd was not the best boxer Floyd was the most famous boxer he was the biggest name but Floyd was not the best boxer it's a lot of things that go into that fight that people don't don't remember when they, they like to say well he went 10 rounds with Floyd bro I promise you Conor McGregor would not go Five rounds with um with Canelo Alvarez in a boxing ring in, in a boxing ring. Con I, I don't think Conor McGregor Gregor would go five rounds with Canelo. The thing about him, him and Floyd, Conor McGregor first and foremost was way bigger than Floyd. All right. Secondly, bro, Floyd was past his prime. Let's let like let's not forget about that. Floyd was well past his prime at that time. Right. Third, Floyd is not known for having power. Not at 147, or, or, or they fought at like what, 155? I think it was like a catch weight of 155, or it might have been 154, whatever. Floyd was not known for having power. Floyd is not known for having power. Now, pretty boy Floyd at 135, yeah, but Floyd is not known for having power, okay? All right, so when you mix all those three th things in there, bro, of course, like, and the fight went exactly how I thought. Like, I didn't think Floyd was gonna just knock him out like how everybody was saying, because Floyd is not known for that. But the thing is, bro, when, when you get, when, if Conor McGregor was to get in there with somebody, uh, an actual boxer his size, like a Canelo Alvarez, like a Triple G, like a Jamal Charlo or something like that, 
Bro, Conor McGregor's gonna get stopped. All right, Conor McGregor has an awkward style, but Conor McGregor does not have the pop in his punch to even give Canelo issues. If you guys watch, like, listen, the way a, the way a UFC and the MMA fighter throws punches is kind of different from how a boxer, and I, in not all cases, but in Conor's case, like, he kind of pushes his punch. He don't have that snap in his punch or whatnot. Bro, Canelo will stop Conor, Conor McGregor, bro, easily. I'm telling you that right now. So... That's why I was like, you know, I, you know, when people like to throw up the Floyd Mayweather comparison, bro. Nah, bro. Like I don't. I'm telling you right now, bro. That that fight will be nothing like Mayweather McGregor, bro. I'm tell I'm telling you that right now. Like <laughs> that's gonna be an ugly night for Conor McGregor if Conor McGregor steps in in the ring with uh with with Canelo Alvarez. Now, obviously, in the cage, that's a completely different um that's a that's a completely different story, but. In the interview, he was talking about getting in the ring with Canelo Alvarez, so that's why I'm speaking on in the ring. That's not going. I'm telling you right now, that's not going to end well for old Conor McGregor. However, I mean, I do like Conor McGregor. I really, I like him a lot. He's very entertaining and whatnot. I feel like um, I wanted to see at one at one particular moment. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I wanted to see Conor and Polly, but you know, I, that that's that's a uh, ship has uh, sunk a, a sold a long time ago or whatnot. So I feel like Conor McGregor, he has talked about wanting to get back in boxing. And a lot of people don't even know boxing was actually Conor McGregor's first um, first martial art or one of his first martial arts that he learned or whatnot. So he has talked about wanting to get back into uh, wanting to get back into the sport of boxing or whatnot. And uh, but but I, him versus Canelo, obviously, I mean, that'd be for a money grab. But I don't see um uh, if if his I mean well I mean you know if it may, if it makes dollars it makes sense so I mean whatever they might they may just do it uh, just for those reasons but I don't um I don't see it I don't see it happening I really don't man I would rather for you know Canelo to focus on you know hopefully we can get a Canelo versus Benavidez I really think that fight will be huge for uh for September um uh, what is it I think September sixteenth I think that's Mexican Independence Day, I think September 16th this year. I would rather for for Canelo to, to make that, bro. I think that fight would do, do huge numbers. Um, I definitely think that they would. If they, I mean, that, I mean, imagine that being in Texas, that that would be huge or whatnot. If you want to talk about business wise, I think Canelo should focus on that. Um, and I think Conor McGregor has a fight coming up. Conor McGregor has gotten huge, bro. Pause, but he looks uh to be a you know a lot bigger or whatnot. Um. But I, I just again, bro, I don't see, I don't see them uh, fighting each other or whatnot. But I mean, if, if they did, if it was to happen, I definitely would tune in. But just remember that you know, Conor would be in there with a with a a, 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 a a boxer that's more of his, you know, more of his, you know, his, his youth, his size. You know, and that's just that's gonna be dangerous. I mean, bro, you know, again, like what Floyd did, bro. Like Floyd just, you know, kind of. I don't even think really Floyd, I, and I heard Floyd didn't even really take that serious. Uh, I can't remember what interview it was. Um, that I think it was with Floyd Senior, and he was saying that like you know towards the end, like like towards the last month, Floyd really didn't even spar. He just you know just was running, was jogging a lot or whatnot. I mean, I, I mean, and listen, bro, Connor does have an awkward style, and awkward style always, you know, you know, it, it, he does have an awkward style in the ring. Um, we only seen him in the ring once, so we can only go by what we saw um, in this fight with Floyd Mayweather. But Connor has an awkward style. But you know, again, bro, Connor has the confidence, bro, um, and he's been like really, really wild up lately, though. So you know, I, hey, if 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 you if he feels like he has the confidence, I mean, by all means, if it's making you know business sense, bro, go for it. But I'm just telling you right now, if it's you know, any Conor McGregor, like, diehard fans out there, bro, that's not going to end good for uh, Conor, not in the ring, at least, um, but go for it, bro, I mean, I just think that, I, I just think at this particular time, bro, like, I just, I don't know, if, it, it, like, I, right now, right now, at this particular time, it's, it's other fighters that we want to see uh, Canelo fight, now, if Canelo, if they, now, I ain't going to lie, if Canelo, if this was to be, like, Canelo's last fight, if this was like his last fight and he was entertaining a fight with Conor, then I'd be all for it. Like, if that's your last fight, you finna get ready to retire, then by all means, bro, like, hell yeah, that, you, bro, take that, you know, take that bag, get that money, bro. But it, it's still a few more fights we wanna see. And like, I wanna see, I wanna see, first and foremost, Canelo versus David Benavidez. I, re I actually, I even wanna see a rematch with Canelo versus Bivol. 
um i don't think that the, the results will be different but if uh, maybe at 168 you know i don't know it, it just kind of makes it more intriguing and you know know like who was what what'll happen or whatnot um but really after those you know and of course we, i would love to see canelo and uh demetrius andre to canelo and jamal charlo but after those go for a counter fight let me know what you guys think make sure you guys like comment subscribe but what do i know